Gavin and Shana Miller operate a small artisanal winery and creamery on the edge of the Naramata bench. You can visit them all year round and taste a wide selection of cheese and wine. We'll discuss their passion for growing and producing natural and sustainable products and their ongoing commitment to the community. You guys grew up in Naramata. This place has changed dramatically over the last, say, 30 years, but you have strong connections to the community. Yeah, for sure. We, uh, we as I was saying, we raised our family in Naramata for 16 years before before we acquired this. Yeah, sold the family house and moved the kids, told the kids, hey kids, we're moving right. to town. Well, Gavin, you were making wine, Chin, and you were making cheese. The concept was to bring it together. Is it everything you thought it could be or would be? Absolutely, it is. It's, yeah, uh, it is. It's a lot of fun. Um, I mean, don't, don't get me wrong, it's a lot of, a lot of hard work. It's a truly, it's an artisanal uh, winery. I, I look at both arts, you make wine, you make cheese. Do you feel like as artisans you can inspire each other? Or? Oh, definitely, I, I think, think, and we talk about our day at the end of the day and yeah. what does inspire us yeah. and what we could do differently. And, and how, uh, let's start with the wine. I want to ask both of you about you, Gavin, you say that you're working mostly organic or you're, this vineyard now that you've been in it, you, you're not doing much to the, this vineyard. We're doing a lot, but we're doing it all sustainably and, and yeah. there's, no, um, there's no insecticides, no artificial fungicides and certainly no herbicides. It's not difficult to grow grapes organically. It, it takes a little bit more work. Um, it's more money. It's more money because it's more labour. Yeah, it's more labour for yeah. sure. But it's a labour of love. You yeah. know, I, I, I firmly believe that good wine is made in a vineyard, not in a winery. As you said, we're, we're artisanal and I feel most of the work's done out here. What about when you make cheese? Is it, do you have the same natural sensibilities? Absolutely. Our milk comes from Dutchman Dairy and it's a family in Sigmus. And they're actually brothers. They live side by side and they share herds. And so the milk is made uh, usually on Sunday and bring it to me on a Monday. And we process it on a Tuesday. Yeah. So we're getting milk that's fresh, fantastic quality. So when you started to practice organically, what, what, what were some of the biggest changes you saw in the vineyard? Bugs. We had a, a, a the bugs came huge, back. yeah, the bugs came back the first year. Yeah. We found thousands of, of ladybugs, um, almost one on every vine. Fantastic. And it's just beautiful. Um, and then actually last year, we found a complete infestation in um, uh, with, um, praying mantai. Bugs eating bugs. Exactly. Yes. Be it's, it's a food chain. You guys are like ground up. Yeah. I mean, it's not like you came here with bags of dough and opened a winery. You, you, you grew up here, you had a dream, and now you've got a piece of it and that's right yeah. we got our help to buy the wineries we uh, uh, we have Wayne and Margaret and Nystrom our partners who do a, a fantastic job of yeah. um, supporting us so you've set up a pretty unique uh, wine club cheese club uh, how, how do you refer to it the, the curds and corks club or how does it work with your consumers and they sign up and what happens they, they sign, sign up, up and, and they receive a party in a box they call it yeah, well, and that was their term and they, quarterly yeah um, so six bottles of wine th uh, two of each of three varieties and then uh, three Three cheeses paired with each wine. Uh, what can people do when they actually come and visit the winery? Well, obviously we we do we do standard tastings, but we also have a, a beautiful patio where people can sit down and enjoy a cheese platter and and either flights of wine or, or a glass of wine, bottle if necessary. And people obviously, I guess people just come by and buy cheese sometimes. Does, <laughs> do you try and say, hey, how about a bottle of wine, or do you just say, oh, well, well, we actually have them do good. the combination. And when yeah. you, once you have them doing a combination, yeah. then it's a no-brainer. They're either you're, you're either they're leaving with they're leaving with both. Okay, well, I think one of the things we love most about ambitious artisanal people is they work all the time. And this winery is one of the very few that's open year-round. Yeah, we're so close to Penticton here um, that we, we get we get traffic through the winter. Um, just people, locals, wanting to pop in buy buy a piece of cheese, maybe some wine. Yeah, maybe they're going out to dinner. Um, and, and it keeps us busy. And we have lots more time in the winter to spend with people too, mm -hmm. uh, which is which again I think people appreciate. So come by in the winter, spend a few minutes, really get the talk on the cheese and the wine and uh, enjoy this fantastic uh, bench in the center of the Okanagan. Mm -hmm.